Welcome to my tutorial about recording MIDI. We're picking up right where we left off in my previous lesson where we'd added my keyboard and a MIDI track for receiving the data, as well as an audio track for monitoring the signal. In this tutorial, we're going to record from our external MIDI device and play it back. First, let's make sure the record enable and monitor buttons on both the MIDI track and the audio track are on. We've got the pre-click function enabled, but no metronome. Now we're ready to record, so let's press record. Here's our pre-click, our one bar of blank space. Press stop when you're done or the space bar. And here is our recorded MIDI data. Let's double click on the MIDI event. This launches what's called the key editor. At the top of the MIDI editor are some tools that you'll recognize. Here's a new one, trim. There's the split tool. With the pencil tool active, I can draw in MIDI data and edit my existing data note by note. We'll be learning more about the key editor later on in this course. For now, let's close the key editor. Just click on the little red X in the upper right corner. The sample editor is open. Let's close this window as well. Now let's have a listen. What we'll be listening to is the audio track that we created. I've just turned the monitor buttons off. And play. stop when we're done to stop the playback. What we listened to here was the audio track that we created at the same time that we recorded the MIDI data. Now let's be sure to save our work. Remember, unlike audio files, MIDI data is stored right in the project file. This is the only place to access that MIDI data. So if you delete your project file by accident, you will lose this MIDI data. If I'd had enough input ports, I could have performed the same operation using Cubase's instrument track. First, you'd have to set up the return bus for the external instrument. And to do that, you would go to the VST Connections window. Let's go to Devices on the main menu and select VST Connections. The shortcut key for this is F4. Here's the VST Connections window, External Instruments tab, Add External Instrument. The Add External Instrument window opens. Let's type in the name of our instrument. Let's say Triton. We want the audio return for the MIDI signal to be in stereo. One is sufficient. Now click Associate MIDI Device. Here we select from the list of currently installed devices. If you don't see yours here, you can click Create Device. You'll be taken to the same Create New Device dialog window that you get to from the Define New option of the MIDI Device Manager. Let's close this and click OK. Back to external instruments. Let's connect this return bus to our audio interface. M Audio. And I specify the ports. Remember, you can't use the same inputs that you're using for audio elsewhere. After assigning ports, close the VST Connections window. And at this point, we're ready to add an instrument track. Right click, Add Instrument Track. One is fine, and let's select our external plugin, the Triton. OK. And this concludes our lesson about creating your first MIDI recording.